Hey guys, Josh from ThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in Bozeman, Montana. I'm gonna show you 13 things to do here. Bozeman, Montana is the fourth largest city in the state and home to Montana State University. While it's a relatively small city, it still has a massive amount of fun things to do in the city and around the surrounding area. I spent three days exploring Bozeman and here's some of my favorite spots. Let me know what yours are in the comments. My first recommendation is the Museum of the Rockies. The Museum of the Rockies is a Smithsonian museum in the heart of Bozeman that has one of the best collection of dinosaur bones I've seen outside of a major metropolitan museum. While it is relatively small, it's still very impressive with a full T-Rex skeleton and lots of skulls of different dinosaurs at different times of their life. It also has rotating exhibits and when we were there the exhibit was on Genghis Khan and it was fascinating as well. Lastly, there's a children's play area on the second floor and a planetarium you can visit with your admission ticket. Bring the whole family and visit this spot while you're in Bozeman. My next recommendation is just hanging out on Main Street in downtown Bozeman. Downtown Bozeman has an awesome historic vibe with brick buildings, museums, and restaurants. Main Street is a great place to park and just to explore while you're in the city. I recommend stopping at Blackbird if you're looking for a nice restaurant with great wood fire pizza, heading to Bozeman Spirits Distillery to try some of their drinks, and heading to Sweet Peaks to try their ice cream. If you want to do some shopping, this is the area to do that as well. And they have the great Gallatin History Museum which is housed in an old jail cell and has a lot of interesting history to check out. You can spend at least a half day walking around and exploring this area. Recommendation number three is the Bozeman Hot Springs. The Bozeman Hot Springs are one of the city's top attractions and it's a great place to relax, especially after some of the hiking recommendations that we have on this list. The building features 12 different pools, all at differing temperatures and all fed by the natural springs on the property. There were six pools indoors and six pools outdoors when we went and it was just fun to try them all out and sit and soak. Note that it does get busy on the weekends though. Recommendation number four is to hike to the M. The M can be seen from all over Bozeman and it was placed there by students from Montana State University in the early 1900s. It's still a very popular hike as it's relatively short at two miles round trip and has some amazing views. There are many trails that go to the M but I would recommend not taking the steep one to the right. It's really steep and it's not that enjoyable where the medium level trail provides some nice views and trees with a more gradual slope on the way to the M. Note that the parking fills fast on the weekends here and near sunset during the week. My next recommendation is the American Computer Museum. Bozeman's American Computer Museum has been voted one of the best free museums in the United States, even though they are gonna start charging in the fall of 2019. The museum is small, but it packs a punch with tons of great exhibits on the history of modern computing dating back to the printing press. You can tell that the people who work here are passionate about the museum and they do a great job of helping you to get excited about what you're seeing as well. Plus it's crazy to think about how massive some of these old computers were and how much power our phones have now compared to them. My next recommendation is the Montana Grizzly Encounter. I didn't know what to expect when I drove out to the Montana Grizzly Encounter, but it ended up being one of my favorite stops in Bozeman. The park rescues and rehabilitates grizzly bears and they have five bears that live there currently. The stories of where the bears were rescued from are sad to hear and they include a cage on the property that shows where two of them came from. However, when you see how happy the bears are now in their new home, it's a lot of fun to see. We sat and watched one of the bears frolic around the property, swim in the pond, and climb on the rocks. I've never seen a bear this active before at any of the zoos that I've been to and we ended up staying and watching them for a lot longer than we originally planned. For these last three recommendations, I wanted to head outside of the Bozeman area and they're all great for half day trips. First up, take a visit to the Madison Historic Buffalo Jump State Park and the Missouri Headwater State Park. About 20 minutes outside of Bozeman sits these two great state parks with a lot of history. If you have a half day to explore, then I'd recommend driving out and visiting both of them. First up, the Madison Buffalo Jump State Park features a large hill with rocky edges that Native American tribes used to run the buffalo off of during their buffalo hunts. It's quite impressive to read how this was done without any modern weapons and you can hike to the top of the jump if you want to check it out as well. Across the freeway is the second park which is the Missouri River Headwaters State Park. 
Here you can witness the two rivers that come together to form the mighty Missouri River. It's pretty cool to see and the park also has information on the town that was formed here and some small hikes that take you to great viewpoints. If you have a chance then check out both the parks as they're both worth seeing. My next recommendation is a visit to Big Sky and a hike to Usul Falls. As one of the most popular areas in the state, Big Sky is a hiker's paradise in the summer and a skier's paradise in the winter. We were there on a shoulder season so we didn't have to fight the crowds and we got to go on a few unique hikes. If you're looking for a hike for the whole family, check out Usul Falls which is right in the heart of Big Sky and which has an amazing waterfall. If you're looking for something a little bit more tougher, then drive 20 minutes north and do the Storm Castle Trail. This is a pretty tough uphill climb but it has amazing views and both Amy and I loved it. Do be sure to bring your bear spray though. For my last recommendation before talking about food, head over to Paradise Valley and hike to Pine Creek Falls. About 20 minutes from Bozeman is the city of Livingston and heading south takes you into the Paradise Valley. Paradise Valley is an amazing spot with massive mountains, a river, and beautiful views everywhere you look. If you have a limited time, it's worth just taking a drive through the area, but if you have more time, head over to Pine Creek Falls for a hike. This hike is not too hard and it has nice tree cover and two beautiful waterfalls at the end. Of course, there are many other great hikes in the area and this is just a beautiful spot to check out while you're in Bozeman. For my last suggestion, I wanted to share some of my favorite food in Bozeman, so I put them all into one recommendation. First off, head to Granny's Gourmet Donuts. You know that I love finding donut shops when I travel, and this was one of the best donut places I've been to in a while, so you definitely don't want to miss it. I don't even have a donut recommendation because every one I tried was good. If you want to sit down breakfast, go to the Western Cafe. It's one of the oldest restaurants in Bozeman and still serves great food and great cinnamon rolls in a fun old school diner setting. For lunch, consider heading over to the original Pickle Barrel right next to Montana State University. This is a famous sandwich shop with locations all over the state, but the original one's in Bozeman and it's a great spot for a gigantic sandwich. I recommend the mushroom cheesesteak and Amy recommends the veggie sandwich with chipotle sauce. For dinner, head to Montana Ale Works. They have upscale bar food with my favorite being the buffalo pot stickers and a great beer list. Or head to Blackbird Kitchen which is Amy's favorite spot and has great wood fired pizza right in the middle of downtown. That's it for food, let me know what I left off in the comments. Thanks so much for exploring Bozeman with me, hopefully this showed you a new spot to check out next time you're in the area. Let me know if I left off your favorite spot in the comments and let me know what city you'd like to see next in the comments as well. We'll see you on the next video.